Fuji X103 review. Today we're gonna answer the important question that is why on earth does it cost $1400? To begin with let's check out the leaf shutter. Leaf shutters are engineered into the lens and it is very expensive to make. One advantage of using leaf shutter is that it allows you to use higher speed flash sync than focal plane shutter cameras which helps light your subject and separate them from the background. Next is a strong aluminium all metal build with some bits of plastic. In a world where manufacturers are moving to China, this one is still being made in Japan with the highest possible quality. Then you have the built-in HDR image feature which is compositing of three exposures into a single image which results in a better and finer detailed image. Then you have the x processor which is more expensive to manufacture. Now leaf shutter comes with a disadvantage, its maximum speed is 4000 and due to that you will need the built-in ND filter in bright sunlight to reduce exposure and it actually helps in making cinematic videos. The Fuji X100 also has an external mic support and you can monitor the audio on screen while recording. This is an amazing feature. Then you have full HD slow motion video recording that you can use for your B-rolls. Now the Fuji X100V doesn't come with image stabilization but it can be easily be solved using a small portable gimbal like I have the Gion Crane M2. A small portable gimbal will work much better than post-processing uh, using warp stabilizer or any kind of uh, software based image stabilization and you can get amazing photos at night. The F2 lens is very good in low light and I have found that the lens characteristics is very interesting when it has just rained and you go out and you can see amazing halo effect uh, on the street lights and it just provides a much more cinematic feel to the videos. You can also shoot in F-Log profile which you can use for post-processing and color grading with much more details. You can also use it as a webcam with film simulation modes. You can connect your phone and have it control the camera. It is water resistant and weather sealed. With just a small attachment in front of the lens you can make it completely weather sealed and you can go out in the snow and in rain. It supports USB-C and USB charging which means on the go if you just carry a power bank and a cable that's good enough. This camera also has digital zoom which saves in RAW and JPG format at the same time. It has an amazing viewfinder, wide field of view, perfect for those street photography shots and also portraits up close. It is highly portable. It has high ISO modes with noise reduction facilities. The lens quality in this is the highest Fuji has ever produced. It is the best lens in their lineup. That is so well designed with the sensor of this camera that is unbelievable. Now let's talk about why this camera costs so much, even more than some full frame cameras. To be honest, it's a photographer's camera. It's like a driver's car. When you have this, you don't have an excuse anymore not to go out and shoot great images. It will make photography great again for you. 
The price does look a bit steep for many and some haters will call it a glorified point-and-shoot camera. At the end of the day, if you know your way around this camera, then this is the only camera you will need to carry around with you. Thanks for being here in this small channel and hope I was able to help you in some way to understand what this camera is all about and why it's got so much. If you're thinking of buying this, I think you need to like rent this from some store to find more about it before you can purchase it because this camera is not for everyone. But if you decide to get it, you will not be disappointed, I can promise you this much. Here is a list of all the features I found listed so that you can take a look and decide for yourself. Thank you for being here again.